In this video, I'll be showing how you can build your very own bathroom shelf out of 1x6s and 1x4s. As with most of my projects, I'm using a lot of recycled wood, but obviously this can be done with new materials just as well. The first step is to prep the wood by removing the staples and then cutting them to length. The back of the shelf is comprised of 6 3 foot 1x4s and 1 38 inch 1x4. Most of the boards I was using had enough space between the staples where I could just cut the length I needed without needing to pull the staples. I marked six boards at 36 inches and one at 38 and then cut them to length. The back of the shelf will be staggered in an upward slope, or downward depending on which way you look at it. The 38 inch board is the second in and matches up at the bottom with the first board. There will be a shelf at the bottom of this and a channel above it to hold toilet paper. The boards are offset by two inches. I cut a scrap block of wood to use as a spacer to make alignment easier. I would have run the boards through a jointer to clean up the edges to give a nice looking joint when the boards get sandwiched together, but I don't have one, so I just clamped them together and ran a sander over it a whole bunch to try and even out the edges. Once I had that completed, I sanded the front faces and edges on all the boards. The back will be directly against the wall, so it doesn't need any finishing work. I had planned on joining the boards with biscuits. But I don't have a biscuit joiner, and my kind of sketchy plan to use a table saw ended up in an epic failure. So I just used pocket screws and glue instead. Using my spacer block again, I lined everything up, glued, and screwed it together. The screws will have to act as clamps, as I don't have any bar clamps large enough to span across the back. Two 1x6s make up the sides of the channel. The outer one 36 inches, and the inner one 30 inches. These boards are placed the width of one 1x6 apart and then have a 1x6x24 screwed at the front side to complete the channel out. The spacing is large enough for a double roll, but maybe a tight squeeze for a super mega extreme edition commercial grade roll. So be sure to make sure it's large enough for the rolls you use. For the bottom shelf, I cut a board to the exact width and depth of the channel, and put a 45 degree cut on the corner to make it less likely for someone to hurt themselves on the edge. I mounted it in place with three screws. It'll be glued in the future, but I need to stain and finish all the parts first. At the bottom of the channel there's a shelf, angled backward to keep the rolls from falling out. I put the back side about an inch lower than the front. There's a lot of friction between the rolls, so it probably would have been okay to make the shelf level, but I didn't experiment around with it too much. I put three shelves at the top, 8 inches, 6 inches, and 4 inches deep. I had planned on making them all 6 inches deep, but I discovered that 6 inches wasn't really enough space to hold extra towels. And if the bottom shelf was going to be deeper, I thought I'd make the top shelf shallower to give it a waterfall effect. The shelves are all held in place with pocket screws. The towel bar brackets are a disaster. I would have liked to make two blocks that would mount to the insides of the unit below the bottom shelf that would hold the towel bar. But I don't have a scroll saw or a band saw, so I had to make do with a jigsaw. The resulting pieces are okay, but will definitely be replaced when I get better tools. For the towel bar itself, I was going to use a closet rod, but I couldn't find anything lying around, and when I went to the store to get some, everything in stock was extremely warped and in bad shape. I decided to just make my own. I ripped a 1x4 down to about a 1x2, and then used a quarter round a bit in my router to round all the edges. With the new shelf finished, it was time to pull out the old shelf. It was in bad shape, the doors didn't stay closed, and the veneer on the particle board was peeling from age and moisture. I wanted to put my new shelf in higher than I did, 
but it was just a hair too wide and was catching on a part of the window trim. This threw off my calculations for the towel bar height and just barely left me with enough clearance to take the lid of the toilet tank off. When I make my new towel rad brackets, I'll have to mount them higher up so the towel has a little more space below it. As always, detailed plans are available on my website, linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe.